Good morning, friends. This is Rajeshri Srikanth here, selection grade lecturer from Government Polytechnic, Bhagipalli. I welcome you again for this session on in communication skills in English. Today, I will try to you know, tie up all the loose ends. Ulkondirodhanala on salpa, complete madadik, idu on the prayatna. We have not talked about describing process. We talked about description of objects, description of events, people. Idu nalla na cover madi daitu. But description of process ulkombitito. Adu matte comprehension passage na heg answer madbeko. Amele vocabulary heg build up madbeko. So these are some of the uh, topics I'm going to cover in today's session. What is a process? Now describing a process and then, you know here today. But what is a process? Process and yin. It involves the steps that explain how something works. Like for example, uh, or how to do something. Andre Kelsa Heg Marti Vagnu computer and the computer Yatara Kelsa Marathi ni mobile phone yatara kelsa marathi. Like what is the concept behind it? Or how to do something. How to do something and then maybe coffee model hege, tea model hege, bank account model hege, the bank account open model hege, atwa Gmail account open model hege. So either these are some of the processes that we are talking about. When describing a process, you follow step-by-step -step instructions through the use of detailed examples and descriptions. So that is how we write a describing a process paragraph. How to describe a process? When you have to give a series of instructions to make or produce something, there are some common, useful, and simple language features you can use to sound fluent and natural. So, if you have instructions, you can describe the process, you describe the process, you can produce the process, you can describe the process, you can use the useful words. One common feature when describing a process, such as the instructions for how to make a particular dish, is the use of the imperative. The imperative form is made by using the base infinitive of the word, that is, the infinitive without to. So, base infinitive and just sing, play, other base word. Imperative and order code on sentence, other request model on sentence, that is, imperative sentences start with a verb, they do not have a subject. Linking words. We use a lot of linking words when we write a descriptive passage. When giving a series of instructions, it is more natural in speech and writing to join the different instructions together with linking words. So linking words, Sandre, one sentence go in one sentence go connect modern words like and then atara. There are many different linking words that can be used to describe a sequence of instructions that are a part of a process. Two very simple but commonly used ones are and and then. Describing a process, sometimes we also call this a procedure. Describing a process or procedure means writing about how something is made or how something happens. So, the rainwater cycle, how coffee is grown, how glass is made. These are some of the process procedures that you can write. When you explain the step-by-step -step order of how things happen or how things get done, you're describing a process. How to make coffee, how glass is made. How something happens. Usually process na nawo, passive voice na libari tivi. Because it is almost like the, um, the doer, that is the person who is doing it, is writing about what he did. So this is more commonly found in your lab records or some technical writings. Procedure giving directions or instructions. It's usually in the active voice, but it is not a rule. It is usually in the active voice aste. But active voice na layer beko na dienu rule la. Uh, process passive na labor ibe kona din rule la. The passive is often used when describing a process where the same person performs the action in every step. The meat was marinated. 
it was cooked for 40 minutes it was cut into thin strips so idella the chef himself the person who is cooking is writing it how to make a sandwich this is a procedure ingredients two slices of bread cheddar cheese tomato sauce mayonnaise tomatoes lettuce first place a slice of bread on the plate so ee tara baritivi procedure now second put the tomato sauce third add salad slice tomatoes cheddar cheese mayonnaise and tomato sauce after that add lettuce leaves then put a slice of bread on top and finally serve it so ee tara baritivi if it is a uh, describing a dish how to make a recipe inta adakke navu ee tara method use martivi yavudu procedure method procedure tells how to do something little tells what is being explained so usually the one the title irutte how to make coffee how to make tea goal tells what the procedure aims to produce needs describes or lists what is needed to complete the procedure steps describes step by step how to complete the procedure check how to check if the procedure worked for example making lemonade lime juice if you follow these steps you will make a jug of lemonade to make lemonade you will need a liter jug a wooden spoon a lemon squeezer three lemons a cup of sugar water carefully cut the lemons in half and squeeze them on the lemon squeezer pour the lemon juice into the jug fill the water with fill the jug with water add the sugar stir until sugar is mixed completely taste your lemonade if it is not sweet enough add more sugar to the jug and stir what is a procedure if a process describes what the procedure describes how characteristics are there is generally one group involved rules are applied to an activity there may be validation throughout so these are some of the terms that you can use the following are examples of procedures that may initially be mistaken for processes how to install a piece of computer software an instruction booklet describing how to program a dvd recorder what is a procedure a procedure tells us how to do or make something through a series of steps some examples of procedures are recipes craft activities instructions rules for a game procedures use verbs that is doing verbs action verbs to tell us what to do at the start of each step so they start with the action verbs this is an example little growing sunflowers surya kanti how to do how to grow sunflowers in your school garden materials required sunflower seeds compost topsoil and burnt soil pod or used containers some pebbles a stick instructions put some pebbles into the pod mix topsoil with burnt soil in another container pour them into the pod till the brim place dig a little hole in the pot using a stick place the sunflower seeds in it layer them with the mixed soil add compost on top of the mixed soil remember to water the sunflower seeds daily have fun growing sunflowers so ee tarah this is how you write a procedural text other example is how to make easy fried rice Three cups cooked rice, two tablespoons sesame oil, one small. See, please remember, we will be asking you questions like this in the exam. So don't think, hey, I don't need to lo- learn about cooking and all that. Some basic like how to make tea, how to make coffee. Idu nalla kelti, kelu idhi vi. So instead of attention, kodi. Don't think that this is. Oh, I don't need to cook fried rice and tanpa biri. You never know what you will be asked in the exam. A small white onion chopped. One cup frozen peas and carrots, thawed. Two to three tablespoons soy sauce. Two eggs lightly beaten. Two tablespoons chopped green 
onions, green onions, and the spring onions. Preheat a large skillet or wok, wok and bondly, to medium heat. Pour sesame oil in the bottom, add white onion and peas and carrots and fry until tender. Slide the onion, peas and carrots to the side and pour beaten eggs into the other side. Using a spatula, scramble the eggs. Once cooked, mix the eggs with a vegetable mix. Add the rice to the veggie and egg mixture. Pour the soy sauce on top. Stir and fry the rice and veggie mixture until heated through and combined. Add chopped green onions if desired. The procedure next. Definition of procedure. Procedure is a text that shows a process in order. So step by step, buddy on the procedures text. Its social function is to describe how something is completely done through a sequence or series. Generic structure of procedure, goal, showing the purpose, material, telling the needed materials, step one to end, describing the steps to achieve the purpose, language feature of procedure, using temporal conjunctions, that is time, using action verbs, using imperative sentence, using simple present tense. So these are some of the things that the language part that we use. Voting steps, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you diagram nodi, nivo, you can write the procedure. Procedure is a text that shows a process in order. Its social function is to describe how something is completely done through a, series, a sequence of series. The purpose procedural text is to tell the reader how to do or make something. So that is our main purpose behind a procedure. The information is presented in a logical sequence of events, which is broken up into small sequenced step. Andre, one done step correct in the chronological order. One dad mil, one dad mil, one dad mil correct. This text, these texts are usually written in the present tense. Usually now simple present tense, use smart TV. The most common example of a procedural text is a recipe. Introduction, you need the passive voice to describe the process in all the activities you make daily. Moreover, English speakers use passive continuously. Now, now English without being aware of it, we use a lot of passive voice in our speech. It is important to take into account all the steps you need in order to have a product. So when product step Passive is often used to describe how something is done, used, or made. Passive voice is equal to B plus past participle. When we did the session on active and passive voice, that is voices, I told you about how to convert a active voice into passive voice. How mint tea is made. First, some tea is put in a pot. Then the water is boiled. Next, the mint and the tea are rinsed in hot water. After that, the sugar is added. Finally, the pot is filled with boiling water. So this is how you write about the process of making mint, uh, mint tea. So either nal nodi is put, is boiled or rinsed. They're all in the passive voice. The uh, descriptions of processes. Process description is very common in technical writing. That is process and instruction manuals. Experiment or lab reports, proposals, progress reports, completion reports. These are now technical writing nali, but description of process to use smart TV. Example, there are a total of 10 stages in the process, beginning with the growing of the pods on the cacao tree and culminating in the production of chocolate. To begin, the cocoa comes from the cacao tree which is grown in South American and African continents and the country of Indonesia. Once the pots are ripe and red, they are harvested and the white cacao beans are removed. Following a period of fermentation, they are then laid out on a large tray so that they can dry under the sun. Next, they are placed into large sacks and delivered to the factory. They are then roasted at a temperature of 350 degrees, after which the beans are crushed and separated from their outer shell. In the final stage, 
this inner part that is left is pressed and chocolate is produced. So you notice that we have used the passive voice in this passage. There are seven stages in the process, beginning with the digging up of clay and culminating in delivery. How to make bricks. To begin with, the clay is used to make the bricks dug up from the ground by a large digger. This clay is then placed onto a metal grid, which is used to break up the clay into smaller pieces. A roller coaster, a roller assist in this process. Following this, sand and water are added to the clay. And this mixture is turned into bricks by either placing it into a mold or using a wire cutter. Next. These bricks are placed in an oven to dry for 24 to 48 hours. In the subsequent stage, the bricks go through a heating and cooling process. They are heated in a kiln at a moderate and then a high temperature, ranging from 200 degrees to 1300 degrees Celsius, followed by a cooling process in a chamber for two to three days. Finally, the bricks are packed and delivered to their destinations. So you notice that this is another process paragraph and we have used passive. Is dug up, is then is placed, is used. So they are all in the passive voice. The useful language. So you make a note of this. What kind of language to use when you're asked to write a descriptive uh, passage on process? In describing processes, we can use active or passive voice. I told you, passive voice is usually used, but it is not a rule. You can use active voice also. However, the present simple passive is used more. It is more common to use it as day. But use passive way use more by the rule in law. We can say the plantation workers harvest the cacao pods, or we can say the cacao pods are harvested by the plantation workers. The first sentence in the active voice. The second sentence is in the passive voice. The present simple passive is formed as follows. Now, plus present simple of B plus past participle. Cacao beans are harvested. Sequencing words, that is linking words are also used. Because we are writing about stages in a process, we need words to link these stages. Look at the sequencing words in these sentences. Firstly, the cacao pods are grown. Next, they are harvested. They are then dried in the sun. Before being shipped, the beans are packed in sacks. The beans are ground after being sorted and cleaned. Notice in the last two examples that before and after are followed by being plus past participle. Because this is a phrase before being shipped is a phrase after being sorted is again a phrase how will you wash test tubes and chemical flasks in the laboratory a little quantity of washing soda is put inside the test tubes and conical flasks some lukewarm water is added the inside of the test tubes and conical flasks brushed carefully using a brush then they are washed with running water Finally, they are rinsed with water and kept inverted in the glass in the test tube stands and allowed to dry. So what is a how-to essay? How-to essays are also called exposition writing. Exposition is writing that informs or explains. So the exposition and the explain model. The Viverne model on top passage can have exposition paragraph or exposition writing on TV. How to essay is a short focused piece of expository writing that explains how to do or make something. The writer breaks the process down into a series of logical steps. So, one step chronological order, logical order, and explains them in the order in which the reader should do them. So, now, other than the model, correct sequence. The key features of an effective how-to essays are a focused topic that can be fully explained in the length of a paragraph. So now usually one paragraph is clear. Clear explanations of any terms or materials that may be unfamiliar to the readers. A series of logical steps explained in chronological or 
time order. Charts, illustrations, and diagrams as necessary to make complicated procedures understandable. Different from process, don't use passive. That is, a procedure is different from a process. Procedure bariyo waga, active nalle barini. Passive use madat bekila. Require special language. We usually use the imperative sentence. We use clauses. We use models, model auxiliaries. We use advice. And then, he madadre wale do the advice model. And sequencing, correct logical order, time order nal irbeko. Language one, use imperative orders or commands. Put the car in the machine. Check that there is no glass in the tire. Open the top carefully. So these are some of our imperative sentences. Use clauses. Once you have finished, turn off the computer. Once you have finished is our clause. Use goggles when you're welding. When you're welding is another clause. Before you go to the embassy, Check that your passport has empty pages. Before you go to the embassy is a loss. Language two, use modals like and, could, should, may, etc. You should take care. You can also use a sharp knife. Itara sentences. Recommended advice. I think you should or it's a good idea too. Language three, use sequencing words and phrases. First, second, at one next, after that. The next step is dash 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 ing. The next step is to use the infinitive form. X is the next step. So either are some of the, the, these are some suggestions for you to write a procedural paragraph. Describe the procedure of obtaining a demand draft from a bank. Go to the bank and pick a DD form. Fill the form carefully which requires the name of the person to whom it has to be sent, the amount, and the name of the bank and place. Write the name of the person who makes the remittance. Hand over the application together with either a check or cash, including the DD commission. Then the clerk will issue the demand draft. So you notice that this is a procedural paragraph. It is not used in the passive voice. Give a recipe of your favorite dish. This is another procedural paragraph. Heat a frying pan with one or two spoons of ghee. Add a cup of rubber and heat till it becomes light, slightly brown. Keep it aside. Chop two green chilies, two small sized onions. Heat the pan with oil and add a few mustard seeds. Now add the chopped chilies and onions and boil with sufficient water and salt to taste. Add the rubber and go on stirring it till it is cooked well. Squeeze half a lemon and stir well. Put a few curry leaves, some chopped coriander for extra flavor. Your upma is ready to serve. Describing a process or a diagram. So diagram no dini process paribeku. Describe marbeku. The heg marudu. When you're describing a process, you need to organize the steps logically. To help signal this, you should use words such as first, then, next, after this, after that, finally. If you use conjunction when, be careful to use the simple present tense. When ad mele yavatu navu will uh, phrase use model. Will with verb use model dilla. Simple present tense use model The machine switches off when the bag is full on TV. The machine switches off when the bag will be full on the tapu. Read the following advice on describing processes. Study the process diagram. So, you know, process diagram kottiddalli. Nivu, first a process diagram na careful and not fully. Find the beginning and end. Understand the different stages of the process. Find a way of organizing your description. Begin with an introductory sentence which summarizes the whole process. Choose a tense which is appropriate for the topic. Try to identify any distinct stages in the process. Use the notes on the diagram, but try to express them in your own words, where possible. Remember to use the sequence expressions to link the stages. So this is how you write a descriptive paragraph on process. Conclusion: Making a process is an activity that helps the student 
to practice the passive voice using the verbs in different tenses with the correct structure. So, you can learn passive voice in the past. But passive voice will use more beko, hege use more beko, and the descriptive passage in the new kalitira. Besides, it also lets the student make a review about the verb to be. Next is how to introduce yourself. So, this is part of our assignment in the syllabus. This is part of your assignment. In a formal interview, so you know, when the interview in your face model, that, right? you name, place, qualification, family background, hobbies, even a learning in list model. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is. Yalla no vodge hel bidi. Yada ne adu morning idre morning heli, afternoon idre afternoon heli, etc. My name is so and so, or I am so and so. Ta introduce mar koli. I'd like to introduce myself. I am whatever you are, a student, an engineer, a mechanical engineer, athara. Yes, I am from whatever your hometown is. My hometown is. I'm a native of. So idre yada no one hel. Qualification, I have graduated from your college in the Nivodidira. I have completed my dash from dash. So completed my uh, mechanical engineering from dash Atara. So you really have done one thread book. Family background, okay? There are dash members in my family or I have a family of dash. Again, you done one sentence. Hobbies, okay? My hobbies are, whatever your hobbies are, my interests are, or I like to. So you can only, again, one of these sentences. So this is how you introduce yourself. You talk about yourself. So do not forget to smile. When you're introducing yourself, make sure you smile. Greetings. Yadana, meet Mardaga, greet Martivi. So when two friends meet, friends often say hi to each other. Then they often ask a general question, such as, how are you, or how are things, or how's life? Itana na question khelti viyar na no na meet mardaga. The reply to this question is normally positive. Viyar na how are you andar ka na life alero goal Allah hai rak bishiru mardala. I am fine anti vi. Fine thanks and you you again ask the uh, person how he or she is. Fine thanks. What about yourself? So I'm fine. Example. Yes. Hi, Parul. How are you? Parul. Fine, thanks. And you? Yes. Yeah, fine. How to introduce someone? So you meet another friend, maybe your mother, somebody. How do you introduce that person to that, uh, the person you meet? Raj, have you met my colleague Janardhan? Or Raj? I'd like you to meet my colleague, Janardhan. Mom, this is my friend, Sagar. Sagar, this is my mother. Hello, auntie. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure meeting you. You're a wonder again. Pleased to meet you too, Sagar. How to approach if someone is busy? Say, excuse me. So yeah, you, you see this person is working. So if you want to disturb a person when they're working or when they're doing something else, you say, excuse me. If you have done something wrong, say, I'm sorry, or say, I apologize. If someone says, thank you, say, you're very welcome, or you're welcome. But tell it with a smile. Gant muti markon matar How to answer reading comprehension? Reading comprehension methods. Now, lastly, the 10 mark question. Read the following passage and answer the questions that follow in your own words. And the Kiltivala asking our question. Write your answers in full sentences. Points nal bari bedi. Complete sentences nal bari di. It will really help you to keep on track. Check that the keywords from the question are in your answer. Look at the number of marks allocated for each question. Should your answer combine facts from more than one place in the text? Strategies for answering reading questions. The reading assessment test challenges you to short, read short passages and answer questions that require you to identify the main idea of a passage. 
ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜ್ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅದನಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಆ ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಅದ್ರದ್ದು ಮೇನ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾನು ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅದು ನಿಮಗ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಾ ಅಂತ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಸೊ ಸುಮ್ನೆ ನಮ್ ನಮ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜ್ ಓದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗಲ್ಲ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ನೋಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇರೋದನ್ನ ಯಾವ್ದೋ ಒಂದ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನ ಬರ್ದಿಟ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ದ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಇವನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ so make sure you read and understand the passage and read and understand the question as well identify the author's purpose so uh, author a passage na yav karana koskara barita idane enodana artha madkoli make inferences based on the facts present presented in the passage so inferences and then you will conclusion banni so evani idukoskara helta idane anta in addition to general strategies for taking standardized reading tests see separate hand the following strategies are useful for tackling each of the above question types answering questions work out if the question is literal inference or evaluation ya thara question adu should the answer be right there literal andre passage in the literally tegedu bariyodu will you have to think and search for clues inference adalli yochane maadi idu ee idukoskara idu agide ee karanadinda idu agide anta neevu artha maadkolbeka will you need to use your own personal experiences that the author would agree with so ee tara neevu yochane maadbeku use evidence from the text to explain how the answer is correct quotes provide direct concise evidence and prevent waffle waffle andre badbadike sumne stuff filled ene maatartaralla adu waffle antaru write neatly the person marking your answer script may have more than 500 papers to look at so neat ag bariri legible ag bariri because valuation madavaru 500 kinta jaasti papers value madbekagirutte ಸೊ ಅವ್ರು ಒಂದೊಂದನ್ನು ಡಿಸೈಫರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಈ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇದಿರಬಹುದಾ ಅಂತ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡೋ ಅಷ್ಟು ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಟೈಮ್ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಮೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದೇರ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಈಸಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ಯೂಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ಪೇಪರ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಮೇನ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರೂ and complete so complete irbeku ardam barda bariya hogbedi and fact correct irbeku main idea questions will usually include one of the following keywords main idea what is the main idea behind it athwa what does the author emphasize on focus on or what is this passage primarily about or chiefly concerned with author's point of view essence of the passage will go on to discuss so ee tara words gal irutte so ee tara words iddaga you sh- you can be sure that it is a main idea question in reading test passages sometimes the main idea is stated in the opening sentence and developed with examples and evidence in the sentences that follow or a passage may conclude with a main idea a point that the author has been building toward throughout the passage with supportive evidence but don't be fooled into thinking you only need to read the first and last sentences of the passage the main ideas of complex passages are not so easy to identify so complex passages na sumne first sentence last sentence odadre new main idea artha agala poorthi passage odle beku strategies for answering main idea questions look for keywords that identify the question as a main idea question if the question conclude includes any of the main idea keywords listed above this will help you to focus on identifying the author's point as you read so author ya karana koskara barita idane lekhana gara ya karana koskara barita idane enodu nivu oda odidaga artha madkobohudu a keywords galna nivu salpa note maadi one kade jot maadi ittukoli of course exam nalli nivu yavado sheet al madakagala nivu question answer book alle last page nal barkobodu yenu thondre illa question paper mel matra bariya kobbedi read the passage and make notes once you've identified the question as a main idea question read the passage making mental notes on your scrap paper you can use the last page of your answer paper booklet as you read 
Remember to pay special attention to words such as but, yet, although, since, except, moreover, unless, nonetheless, however. So, this is words in the sentence. These words signal a shift, a qualification, something you should note. So, either bagge ni wo, sarpa mental note marko bikko. The ideas that follow these words are usually important to the overall meaning of the passage. Reading a passage for specific details. An author often supports his or her main idea with key facts and examples that make the overall meaning of the text clear. You may be asked a question based on one of these facts or examples. Your job is to make sense of the fact or example in the context of the overall main idea that is being conveyed. Questions about specific details are a matter of reading carefully for meaning. So, often supports his main idea. Main idea first, kurtane. Amele, specific details kurtane. Yidu question, this is what the reason that I have come to this conclusion. This is the main idea behind this passage. And he will try to justify it. Strategies for answering specific detailed questions. Identify the most important word or words in the question. This general strategy is critical for specific detailed questions. Identify the word or phrase that will guide you towards the answer as you read the passage. Make mental notes related to the word or phrase as you read. So mental notes more fully. So this is the idea. So just make a note of it. If the question is a straightforward question about a fact or example from the text, your answer will likely appear in the same sentence in which the word or phrase appears. So now, you have a straightforward question. Kele dada, other answer ade sentence nal irutte. Or in the sentence before or after. Athwa adh ke munchin sentence athwa adh nantara baranta sentence nal e sik bratte. However, be sure to read the entire passage. So in sik bratte on the bit bit bedi. Be sure to read the whole passage. Understanding the main idea of the passage is often critical to choosing the correct answer for specific detailed questions. Some questions will contain a key word or phrase that is a synonym for another word or phrase in the passage. In this case, look for the word or phrase in the passage that means nearly the same as the word or phrase in the stem. So sometimes we use synonyms. Some questions, synonym andre, samana, samana arthapada. Some questions will simply ask you to identify the statement that is true or accurate. So, author questions, which of the following statements is true and tavanansati, multiple choice of court TV. So, author true or false tarak sentence no kerbudu. In this case, take brief notes on the main idea as you read and test each answer choice. Multiple choice, multiple choice, multiple choice, multiple choice, multiple Literal questions or so called right there questions. Literal. Passage, nalye nidyo, hagene question kerodu. Literal questions often start with who, what, where, when, why, how. See, either the answer namge, passage nalye sik bratte. The keywords tend to appear in the text, question and answer. The question can be reconfigured to form the answer. Who glanced at the clock impatiently? Mrs. Dikshit glanced at the clock impatiently. So, itana namge passage nalle ne answer sikhbrate. Karna koskra bardida. Define a term. Understanding the author. The subject will help you. for answering author's purpose.
the question includes any of the author ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತನಕ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಎಸಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸ್ವೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ವಾ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ continue so you can use words like these predict so that is you have to predict try to figure out what might happen next so odavaga mundike enagutte anta neeve yochane maadi visualize maadi andre salpa kalpane maadkoli picture the people places and events being described connect connect what you're reading to other texts and the real world question ask questions about the material you are reading clarify investigate identify main points and summarize evaluate judge the story and the options of the character actions of the characters i'm sorry 
So making inferences from a passage. This is our last point from for this. To infer is to draw logical conclusion from what is known or assumed to be true. So namge idu nija anta gottirodna adanna navu adukoskara id irbeku anta navu assumption maadkolodu. In this case from what is written in the passage. Inferences are not stated explicitly in the passage. Rather, inference questions require you to draw conclusions from the factual knowledge or evidence presented. In order to answer an inference question, you must understand the logic of the author's statement and decide what is or not reasonable. Right? Reasonable la il wanta niwe athamarkolbeko. Inference questions are as much about critical thinking as they are about critical reading. Most inference questions will include one of the following keywords imply, suggest, infer, assume, most likely, probably, seem, predict, indicate, conclude. So, these keywords are One type of inference question will ask you to draw a conclusion that is supported by facts presented in the passage. Another type of inference question may ask you the meaning of a word or phrase that is included in the passage. So one though, they will ask you to draw a conclusion. So one facts in a quote bito, either in the name again answer the question. Atava, they might ask you the meaning of a word or phrase. So passage nali ronta meaning a word though at a phrase the meaning kerbohudu. Such questions are not meant to test your vocabulary. In your vocabulary test questions They are designed to test your ability to understand a word. So this word level of understanding test questions Inference readers can understand more about the story when they look for clues in what the characters say and do. They are wearing quotes. So it must be cold. So they must really like football. So it's a know inference girl model. Use the clues in the text to describe describe what is not directly stated. Anna collected shells. Then she went for a, for a swim in the cool, salty water. So even in the Nimgi and Athaito, Anna is at the ocean. So beachalidale. Strategies for answering inference questions. Look for keywords that identify the question as inference question. First of all, yaw reethi agero question na now identify marbeku. Author's purpose, atwa literal, atwa inference, yenu. When you come upon a question that contains one of the words listed above, make a note that you're looking for an inference. This will help you later on as you consider the answer choices by reminding you that you must draw a logical conclusion based on the facts presented in the passage. Identify the most important substantive words in the question. In addition to the keywords, you will want to identify the word or phrase that will guide you toward the answer as you read the passage. So, it are keywords in the first substantive words they are keywords to get support model on how words read the passage make notes I cannot stress this enough so new passage now would lay making a note related to this substantive word or phrase so new notes question paper mail matra bari ready use your the last page of your answer booklet Remember to pay special attention to words such as but, yet, although, since, except, moreover, unless, nonetheless, however, ithara words na unsalpa gamana to note koli. These words signal a shift, a qualification, something you should note. The ideas that follow these words are often the subject of inference questions. So inference question, usually ithara words admel baruanta sentence nali namge inference question do answer sigutte. Inference questions text detect. Authors intentionally give the readers extra details by leaving them clues in the text. Inference questions require you to think and search for the clues and solve the answer. Complex inference questions require you to find and link clues from different parts of the text. You will need to reorganize the information from different places to form your 
ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ನೀವು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆ ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ತೆಗೆದಿರಬಹುದು ಸೊ ನೀವು ಬರೀ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಬರೀ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಓದಿದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸಿಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಆನ್ಸರಿಂಗ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಈ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ after you read the questions make sure you highlight any headings phrases or keywords that can help in answering the question find the keyword or important word of each question and get back to the passage to find the question most of the answers are in the sentence with that keyword or the sentences before or after it this is the tip read the questions first this will help you to look for relevant answers while reading the passage so in one tip and right of course i kept saying read the passage read the passage and read the passage but first what you can do is first read the questions so madlu questions na odi artha maadkoli so ava passage oddaga navu a passage nalli yav yav points na navu note maadkobeku anadu na namge one idea sigutte if the passage is read first you will be losing time more as you will be reading everything again to look for answers so nivu madal passage odi aamal questions odidre nivu passage yerne sathi odbekad barutte so pass madlu questions na odkonbidi so a questions odkondaga a questions ge related uh, points yenide anta passage nalli nimga avaga immediately artha agutte answer easier questions this of course i know need to tell you this is not only for your reading passage comprehension passage this is for all your uh, all the questions in your question paper don't spend too much time trying to answer a difficult question it will eat up your time get back to the questions you are not not too sure about after you have answered the easier ones so how to improve your vocabulary is our last part vocabulary and the you know first of the words we know to communicate effectively the words that are already there in your uh, uh, in your mind the words that you're already comfortable with using in general vocabulary can be described as oral vocabulary or reading vocabulary oral vocabulary refers to the words we use in speaking or recognize in listening reading vocabulary refers to the words we recognize in prints yesto sathi namge ತುಂಬಾ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಫೆಮಿಲಿಯರ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ನಾವು ಮಾತಾಡುವಾಗ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಅದು ನಮ್ಮ ಬಾಯ್ಗೆ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅವ್ರ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಆ ವರ್ಡ್ ನೋಡಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ನಾವು ನಿಧಾನವಾಗಿ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಆ ವರ್ಡ್ ನಿಮಗ್ ಹೊಳಿಯುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಓರಲ್ ವೊಕ್ಯಾಬ್ಲರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ವೊಕ್ಯಾಬ್ಲರಿ ಇಂದ ಎರಡು ತರ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ಲೀಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ವೊಕ್ಯಾಬ್ಲರಿ ಬೈ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲೂಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಟೀಚ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ನ್ಯೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ರೀಡ್ increase your vocabulary by learning to use word parts so that you can figure out word meaning by looking at their prefixes suffixes and roots we've already talked about prefixes suffixes and roots read widely sadhyavadashtu odi about a wide variety of things one day tara reading beda different topics mele odi so that you will be exposed to thousands of new words each month keep a vocabulary journal yadano one book alli bardittkoli hosa words kaltirodanna bardittkoli to record the interesting words you find or make word cards so that you can see your vocabulary growing use the library to find the resources for building your vocabulary bookstores have word for today calendars crossword puzzles and vocabulary word card boxes so ee tara bookstores nal hodre word for today ee tara books galu nimge sigutte use your words from time to time in conversation so hosa word kalt mele adu pade pade use madidre ashte adu nim vocabulary nal barodu illa andre adu word marth hogutte context clues synonyms context clues are often found in the form of synonyms samanartha padadalli namge hosa words kalt kobohudu words that mean the same as the unknown word synonyms may be purposely included by an author to help readers understand a less familiar word one and sati author bek antane synonyms use madartare just so the reader will be able to learn and understand new words in such cases the synonyms are usually set off by special punctuation within the sentence like comma or dash athara such as commas dashes or parentheses parentheses and brackets and they may be introduced by or or that is 
ಈ ತರ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂತ ಈ ತರ ಆಥರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರಬಹುದು ಸಿನೋನಿಮ್ ಮೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಪಿಯರ್ ಎನಿವೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ರೀ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅನ್ನೋನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಅಪೋಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಸೋ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಲ್ಲದ ನಮಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟ ಇಲ್ಲದ ನೈವೇತಿ ನೈವೇತೆ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ನಸೆನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಬಿಯಸ್ ಇನ್ನಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೈವೇತೆ ನೈವೇತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮುಗ್ಧತೆ ಸೇಲ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಅಸುವೇಜ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ತಣ್ಣಗ್ ಮಾಡು ದಿ ಆಂಗ್ರಿ ಕಸ್ಟಮರ್ಸ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ನೋ ವೇ ಟು ಸೂದ್ ಹರ್ ಸೊ ಅಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸೂದ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಿನಾನಿಮ್ ಆಂಟೋನಿಮ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೇಸಸ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ದಿ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲೂಸ್ ಆಂಟೋನಿಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫನ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ ಬೈ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೇಸಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಹವ್ ಎವರ್ ಬಟ್ ಯೆಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಸ್ಟ್ ಈ ತರ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರಬಹುದು ಮೈ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಹವ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರಾದ ಇಂಟ್ರೋವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಟ್ರೋವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತರ್ಮುಖಿ ರಿಲಿಜನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಥಿರ ಬಟ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಗೆ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ especially in this period of shifting values many people have pointed out the harmful effects the working mother may have on the family yet there are many salutary effects as well so harmful ge opposite is salutary salutary andre upayukta context clues examples examples can serve as context clues for a word examples are often introduced with such signal words as including such as other examples kodtare so ee examples nodi now word the meaning artha maadkobodu nocturnal nishachara creatures such as bats and owls have highly developed senses that enable them to function in the dark the adverse effects of this drug including dizziness nausea and headaches have caused it to be withdrawn from the market so dizziness nausea headaches ivalla negative namalli hanikaravadu so adverse antakshana hanikara anta namge gotagutte vyakti vyati rukta common euphemisms tuttu balasada balisida da prayoga include final resting place for grave so now unpleasant term na helak badlu adakinta on salpa more acceptable term na use madadaga adanna euphemism anta karithiri grave andre on tara smashana so nodi takshana on tara salpa namge uncomfortable agutte so final resting place antivi intoxicated for drunk comfort station for toilet in some cases based on the information given the meaning of the word can be drawn asking yourself questions about the sentence or passage may help you make a fairly accurate guess about the meaning of the unfamiliar word a former empo- employee irate over having been fired broke into the plant and deliberately wrecked several machines so on yen maadda anta andaga namge a word the meaning gotagutte i rate andre kopa so kopa dinda he behaved like that despite the proximity of ron's house to his sisters he rarely sees her so jasti avarna meete madala avara akkanna do avar thumba samipa idru kuda anadu namge thanage artha agutte the car wash we organized to raise funds for the fiasco for it rained all day fiasco andre adu phala aglilla hasyaspada vaitu he was born to a family that possessed great wealth but he died in indigence badatanandalli satta so but andre avage you know that it is an antonym my friend julie is a great procrastinator she habitually postpones doing things from household chores to homework so procrastinator andre person who keeps postponing anta meaning namge artha agutte since my grandfather retired he has developed such avocations as gardening and long distance bike riding avocations and takshana namge vrutti kasubu anta artha agutte lizard was so lethargic that i wasn't sure if it was alive or dead 
ಇಟ್ ಡಂಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಬ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಅದೊಂಥರ ಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟವಿಲ್ದೆ ಇರೋದು ಲೆಥಾರ್ಜಿಕ್ ಆಲಸ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ನೋಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕೋವರ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿ ಬಿ ಐ ಸ್ಪೈಸ್ ಕೋವರ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಇವಾಗ ಸಿ ಬಿ ಐ ಸ್ಪೈಸ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರು ಎಲ್ಲಾರ್ಗೂ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬರಲ್ಲ ನಾವ್ ಇದೇ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಅವರು ಗುಪ್ತವಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ many politicians do not give succinct answers to questions but long vague ones to the point avaru yav question kelidru avaru to the point answer kodode illa andre sankshiptavagi answer kododilla avaru usually yado ella sutti balsi yenino heltare my because my father had advised me to scrutinize the leaves i took time to carefully examine all the fine print so take time to carefully examine means scrutinize so parishili su in biology class today the teacher discussed such anomalies as two heads and webbed toes on a human being so idu usually kandu baruvanta adalla so idu antara akrama nature has endowed humming birds with the ability to fly backwards endowed andre given needodu doctors should alleviate the pain of terminal terminal patients so that their final days are as comfortable as possible alleviate andre kadime madodu what parts can be made of combinations of different parts called roots or bases prefixes and suffixes so yella word gallu root irutte prefix irutte suffix irutte but of course prefix suffix irle beku anadu en rule illa of course Words, prefixes and suffixes have their own separate meaning and can be looked up individually in a dictionary so nobody now prefix na matra dictionary il hudukadre adakku sigutte nam meaning this meaning suggests the overall meanings of the words they compose prefix is a letter of or group of letters that come at the beginning of a word a prefix alters the meaning of a word sometimes word prefixes have hyphen hyphen sirutte example a half hour program and sometimes they don't example an impossible question use a dictionary when you're not sure if there is a hyphen or not kelu words ge prefix aadmel one hyphen aaktivi kelu sati prefix aadmel hyphen haakodilla so nimage yell prefix hyphen haakbeku yell haakbardu anta nimage sölpa doubt idre dictionary nal nodkoli suffix is a word part added to the end of the word it does not generally alter a word's meaning but it will often change a word from one part of speech to another for example when the suffix ness is placed after the adjective kind the result is the noun kindness a root is a basic word which prefixes and suffixes can be added so basic word ee root word ge navu prefix athwa suffix add madabahudu it cannot be further separate so ee root word na matte split madak sadhya illa and is fairly constant in form and meaning it can be found at the beginning middle or end of a word be aware that there are times when a group of letters appears to be a prefix suffix or root but it is not sometimes when group of letters na prefix tara nam kan bohudu but yesto sati adu prefix irli iralla for instance the prefix anti means against so anti clockwise athara it means against but of opposite or anti social athara however anti is not a prefix in anticipate antique ee tara words nalli anti anodu prefix alla if you read 14.2 minutes a day you will read millions of words per hour andre 11 uh, 11,46,000 words 21.1 minutes odadre 18,23,000 words nevu one year nal kalthkobohudu 65 minutes per day odadre 43,58,000 words you can learn it even as little as 15 to 20 minutes per day over a long period of time at least for a year it is important to read a significant quantity of material so adanne pade pade ododalla different things different passages odbeku about 20 pages each day 
hundred pages each week. Karagodi. Read a variety of material. Read consistently every day. You can stop reading a book before finishing it and choose another one. One book or two books. Then stop. Madi inon dana shuru mar bodi. Yenu thondrei illa. Read books that are challenging to improve your vocabulary. Keep an informal diary journal of your a daily journal of your reading. Read a book by reading a story. Create a picture in your imagination that will be connect that will connect to different parts of your brain to English. Find a book that is not too difficult. Do not stop every time you find a new word. Because our words like "takshna," stop my dictionary after a week, baby. Because after after a while, you will stop reading altogether. Guess what the word probably means. Continue reading. Check in your dictionary at the end of the page or chapter. Because I underline my dictionary quickly. How to make word study count? Write the word in bold letters on one side of an index card. Vacillate. Vacillate. Andre anishchita vagiru. On the other side of the index card, write vacillate, meaning waver. It is a verb. Write the part of speech. Chitra's parents usually came to a decision quickly and stuck by them. This time they vacillated before deciding. The sentence, the word appears. So you use the word in a sentence. Synonym, waver. Antonym, persist. Decide quickly. And if you have any other piece of information to add, you're welcome to add that as well. Use your new words. Use the new words that you have learned from time to time in conversations and in your writings. This is very important. You have to keep using the word. Talk, listen, share. Wow, my vocabulary is growing. Speak lots of English with your friends. You improve your spoken English by speaking English in different situations with people of all nationalities. If you want to speak English better in the future, speak it. As much as possible now. Monday now English channel math math art break only. Eva Gindane Shuru Mar Beko. Think positively. People who say I can't speak English well are correct. Then English Baralana are correct. People who say every day in every way my English is getting better and better and are correct. It all depends on how you think. So your thought makes the person you are. What you think is what you get. Practice saying the second sentence every day, and you will see a greater improvement in your English and in your confidence. Remember, the more fun you have with English, the easier it will be to learn. So enjoy learning English. Just keep going. Don't give up. Never give up. Today, for the time, Martha Neeri, solo kobeeri. luck in your exams best do your best hope it all goes well goodbye friends and best wishes thank you so much for listening to me thank you very very much have a wonderful day